Hey, what's going on guys? Joltz here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Alchemist. This gun is ridiculous. To get it, you want to farm Heckle and Hyde over at the Jacob's Estate. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so we made it over to the Jacob's Estate, and we're gonna head over to the challenge enemy right over here. Uh, this is gonna be Heckle and Hyde. Uh, you have a challenge for that. And yeah, let's head over. On your way over, be sure to hit this save right here, and that's gonna make it a much shorter walk when you save quit and jump back in. First run. No drop. I'll keep farming. Oh, there it is. We got it. Alright. Um, yeah, Alchemist. Damage, pretty good. Accuracy, also good. Handling, okay. Reload time, mm, fair. Fire rate, good. And mag size, 16. Red text is, you can't gain something without giving something in return. Bonus, weapon damage, splash damage radius, projectile speed, and 3.3 times weapon zoom. This one is fire, and it can only ever be fire. Stuck gyro jets increase damage by 9% each. The gun looks really good, I like it. Um, one of my favorites, actually. It's got like this wing thing on the front of it, and it's silver and gold. Crazy looking. Alright, so with the alchemist, when you shoot and stick targets, you're gonna take shock damage. You can see my HP right now. It goes down. And it's also gonna stick with uh, a bit of shock damage, too. Now, a really cool combo you can do is put on a transformer. Instead of taking shock damage, it's going to regen your shield. So you can see right now we have no shield. And now we're gaining shield. Yeah, this combo is pretty crazy. And when they blow up, they're going to do fire damage. As you can see there. So they stick for shock. They blow up for fire. All right, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. And the good thing about these guys is they have a shield. So if I shoot them, I'm going to break the shield. And then blow it up for the fire damage. And yeah, as you can see, this gun is insane. I have messed with it quite a bit in the past, and it's one of my favorite guns. So we missed a bunch of shots there, and we still got the kill. Okay, this guy has shield, armor, and health. Stick him up. That's good. And we're eating through all that. And he is dead. Yeah. And he's still blowing up too. Poor guy. Alright, this map is a little too easy. Let's go to the anvil. Yeah, not only is this gun, like, really good damage, it's also keeping me alive with the, uh, Transformer. That's good. Just a few sticks, that's all you need. Anointed, here we go. So we're gonna stick you up. Yeah, what a joke. So for normal mobs, it only takes about maybe, like, eight or nine sticks. Like, not too many. And that was Fire on Armor on Mayhem 4. You can see the gun does not care at all. So, yeah, as you can see, this map is pretty easy, too. Um, let's go to a boss. Alright, we're at Grave Ward, and the modifiers are neutral. Ah, so what happened right there is if you keep sticking for over 10 seconds, then the game will despawn the sticks. So, just make sure you blow it up before 10 seconds. Keep sticking. Keep going. And, sure. Yeah. Nothing great. Alright. Uh, final thoughts on the... Okay, maybe one more kill. I'm sorry. This is fun. Alright. Final thoughts on the Alchemist. It is a very underrated gun. Um, I don't see many people talking about the gun. Overall, it's a very strong gun and pretty easy to farm too. So yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.